Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand what is the meaning of polar coordinate systems. So in polar coordinate system, the origin of the figure is never fixed. Wherever you go, that point becomes the origin. And in polar coordinate system, we are using angles instead of coordinates of the particular points to make the figure. So why we use the angles and what is the syntax of polar coordinate system? It is very easy. First of all, we understand the angle. This is 0, then 90, then 180, then 270. This become a origin for the figure. So whenever my line moves towards right side, then I have to take the angle that is 0. If my line moves upwards, then it is 90. If my line moves towards to the left of the origin, then it is 180. And if it is downside, then it is a 270. Now, with the help of polar coordinate system, let's make this figure. Initially, we have to select the origin. So let us suppose this point is a origin. Let us suppose this point is A and just give the name to every point. Now, with the help of polar coordinate system and the angles, we are going to make this figure. So first of all, select line in AutoCAD. It will ask you specify first point. So first point is always a origin, then enter. Then it will ask you specify next point. Now what could be the coordinates of point B? Means if you are moving towards right side, how this line will be developed? So instead of making the coordinates of B, I am taking the polar coordinate systems here. We have to put at the rate as we put in the relative coordinate systems and then what is the length of the line? In this case, this is 200 and then less than sign with the help of keyboard and then what is the angle of this line with respect to the origin? So with respect to this origin, my angle is zero because my line moves towards right side, then enter. So once you enter it, this 200 line will be made. Then again, AutoCAD will ask you specify the next point. Again, you have to put at the rate. When you put at the rate, now B becomes origin for your this BC line. Now for BC line, again, you have to put the at the rate to make your B origin. And what is the length of line? It is 150 less than sign. And what is the angle now? When it moves upwards, so it is a origin. So this angle is 90 degree. Again, enter now. Now again, it will ask you specify next point. Again, add the rate. So when you put add the rate, C point becomes your origin now. For D point, the length of the line is 80 as per this figure. And the angle is, you can see this, this is 180. Now again, it will ask you specify next point. Then again, add the rate. So when you put add the rate, the D point becomes origin now. Now you are going to make DE line. So DE line angle is like this, this complete angle. So this is 270 and the length of line is 90. So 270. Now again, it will ask you specific next point. So at the rate, you are here at point E and you are moving towards left side and the length of this line is, that is 200 minus 80 so that becomes 120 so length of the line is 120 and the angle is you can see this this angle is 180 so 180 is the angle again at the rate now you are here at this point and you are coming back to your origin so again at the rate and the length of this line is 150 minus 90 so it is 60 less than what is the angle now you can see this this angle complete angle that is 270 then enter it will again ask you specify next point now you come back to your origin so you have to put escape here so in this way you can make your figures with the help of polar coordinate systems in polar coordinate systems your syntax is at the rate then length of the line what whatever the line is and the angle so this could be the syntax. If you like this video, please comment in the comment section. If you have any query, please comment in the comment section. I will answer in a minimum time. Thank you, everyone.